So you're considering a hair transplantation procedure and you're wondering if it could be the case that this is not the right procedure for you. Well, there's a couple things you can consider before jumping into hair transplantation. I wanna walk through those one by one. Number one, in order for hair transplantation to work, you have to take healthy hair and transplant into healthy skin. If there's anything to indicate that the hair is not healthy, such that it's related to malnutrition or due to medications or to stress, or that the skin it's going to is not healthy itself due to a dermatitis or autoimmune condition, then hair transplantation is not ideal for you. Therefore, diagnosis is number one. Number two, you might be too young for a hair transplant. I say this because hair loss is a progressive process. And from your very first transplantation, you need to plan for all your future transplantations. If you start at a very young age and lock yourself into a relatively juvenile or immature hairline, you're committed to keeping that hairline the rest of your life. If you wait into your 30s and 40s and let some natural mature recession in your hairline occur and then lock it down with a transplant, it's a lot easier to maintain during the rest of your life. Now there are instances in our office where we'll see a very young individual, maybe 20 to 25 years old, who's exhibit significant hair loss. In that case, we may consider doing a hair transplant because we kind of know where the future endpoint is. It may not be much more than we see at that time. So we may go ahead and perform transplantation with a recessed hairline in low density, such that we know if we need to do any corrective procedures in the future, we have the ability to do so with the grafts. Number four are your expectations and the extent of loss. Remember, with today's technologies, we don't have the ability to grab enough hairs in the back and sides of your head to cover the entire top. So if the extent of balding in your future is relatively large, we need to establish some expectations. That can be focusing on the front, focusing on the back, focusing on the entire area with lower density, or moving the hairline back. If you're okay with any one of those, then you'll probably be happy with the results you can have throughout your life. Number five is your commitment to maintenance therapy. Remember that hair loss is a progressive process. Once you go through a hair transplantation procedure, the hairs behind it or around it continue to regress. Using hair maintenance therapy will slow that process down, maintaining your result and keeping you looking natural for a much longer period of time. If you're considering getting a hair transplantation procedure and you haven't already exhibited full hair loss yet, it's gonna be imperative that you're in hair maintenance and you should commit to it before considering a transplantation.